you very much. We're in the kitchen with Paul Neeson. Paul Neeson is an author. He's a speaker. His book is called The Raw Life. Sounds like a new reality show. But there it is right there, The Raw Life. And he is here to talk about the benefits, therapeutic and otherwise, of eating nothing but raw food. And what do we mean by that? Well, any food that's cooked, the enzymes are destroyed. So if it's uncooked, it's raw. Even if it's moderately warmed up. Well, 108 degrees is the rule. If it's over 108 degrees, which most ovens are, yeah. then it destroys all the enzymes. After yeah, that. exactly. So microwave that out of question. Okay. How long have you been eating raw food? It's been about 17 years now. And before this, were you a really you weren't a really big guy before? I wasn't that. big, but I ate a lot of cooked food. So I was very unhealthy. All right, and now you're much healthier. You feel your immune system is crackerjack now. That's what the doctor tells me. Does he eat raw food? No. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do a couple of recipes here so that and through the process of that, Paul. Sure. Hopefully, we will discover what you're talking about when you mean when you say raw food. The first thing we have here is uh, one of the greatest recipes made from our creator. It's a coconut. Yes. And the coconuts we see in the store that are hairy and brown are old coconuts. This is a young, mature coconut, a young coconut that you see right on the tree in in Florida and the tropics. So try that here. We yeah, just but open it. Still it still has a shell on it, Paul. It, it has a shell, but it's not the hairy brown shell, and the meat right. is very soft that you can use with a spoon. So once you see hair, it's it's much healthier like this. Hairless. Exactly. <laughs> Okie dokie. I don't know where we were going with that. You try that and see how you like that. Hmm. That's nice, but it could use a little, you know, something, something in it. Well, <laughs> if you put too much something, something in it, then we'll be more hairless. So we want to use... All right, like okay. As much as possible. Uh, by the way, if you eat raw food and nothing but raw food, what's that do for your digestive system? Well, it improves it because it has the enzymes, so it makes it easier for the foods to digest. Okay. Giving us more energy. Okay. The more energy we have, the more we can do and the more fun we so can have. So if I read your book, The Raw Life, and I go right to that diet. Will my habits change? You know what I'm saying? Oh, your whole lifestyle will change. Oh. Everything, your outlook and your health and everything my will change. My outlook will change? Your outlook on life, your, your right. everything will change. Let's get into these. Now, you're going to make zucchini. Well, we're going to make a pasta. Well, I'm not going to make zucchini. The zucchini grew all It's already own. made, yes. Right, but you're going to make pasta from it. Exactly. Okay. And well, we're going to use this machine here, which is called a spiruli machine. Ah, spiruli. And, and, and it's not electric, so you don't have to worry about it if the power's out. We're taking a piece of zucchini here. and most on spiruli. Most people do not like a zucchini like this. Uh, but when we take it in here and we put it through this machine, yeah. and we just turn it like this, yeah. we get a pasta like result yeah. and people like zucchini like well, this it's that. much better i'll be darned it people will eat raw zucchini paul they got a lot of high fat dip to go with it well that's what we made so oh. it's perfect All we right. made a pesto and what we did here with this pesto uh we took a, uh some basil yes. some spinach some pine nuts olive oil yep. salt and garlic right. and we just blended it up in a food processor with an s blade and it came out here to look like this here right. which is our pesto and you smell the basil don't you i do and uh, and then we mixed the pesto uh with the uh, uh, zucchini pasta just like you suggested right. and then you want to try that yeah sure okay you could be like raw and use your hands if you want get a fork okay we can use a fork also <laughs> <laughs> all right so you so, try that so, so, no, but I'd have my, I would have to get, my body would have to get used to not eating warm food. Uh, well, room temperature is the best way to eat all our food. And if it's too hot, we cool it down until it's room temperature. So, oh, You know what? That's pretty good. Well, I'm glad but then what's that. not to like in there? It's just pesto with zucchini. Exactly. What's not to like in fruits and vegetables? Just blend it up and made to look better. Yeah. See, you when, you have like that. when you have cooked foods, you have to add a whole bunch of spices to make it taste good. Mm -hmm. When you have raw food, you don't have to add much because it has a great flavor right from nature. Right, and you can do this with herbs and, and whatnot. As of you, of as course, done so you could change the flavor as much as you oh, want. Okay, I'm, I can be sold on that. Okay, great. This, I don't know about. So we're two for two, for two. the coconut and that are all right. Well, okay. coconut, you can't go wrong with coconut. There you go, okay. okay. This, this is, uh, I don't know. Well, no, I feel good about this one. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. But this is dessert. And basically, anytime you add a sweetener to something, somebody's going to like it. So we're going to use a sweetener today called agave nectar, mm -hmm. which is a, a, comes from an agave plant found right. in nature. Well, and it's on, like uh, tequila. Uh, that's the same thing they use in tequila, but it's not uh, fermented as much, and there's no alcohol in this. Yeah. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, we're going to take an avocado, mm -hmm. and we're going to put that in here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to take uh, some carrot powder, which is a carrot pod that comes on a carrot tree. We're just going to put a couple of that in there. We'll put that all in there. Okay. Then we're going to take some of this agave nectar here. Yeah. And but I would have to completely restock my larder in order to, uh, you know, embrace this diet at its fullest. Wouldn't I? Sure. Well, why, why not? I'd have to get out of my rush. I'd have to get raw. We're out of refined sugar. 
and salt and all of that stuff. Well, if your health is going to be the benefit of it, why not? It's not that big of a deal to switch salt with, yeah. with and, and I mean sugar with What do I do with the rest of the people in my house? Well, give them the stuff you got rid of. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to blend that up here and yeah. we're going to make a, a substitute for chocolate because chocolate is not healthy. See, it even looks like it's cooked. I thought chocolate uh, was healthy. Uh, I don't Dark know who told chocolate. you that. Chocolate is Cabinoids, not healthy. Cannabinoids, radicals. Uh, people want excuses for the eat chocolate, but it's not healthy, but this is healthy. So we ended up with this uh, carob uh, a substitute for chocolate, and go ahead and taste that, and I'm pretty sure uh, you have you'll enjoy spoon? that. Uh, take a big spoonful of that, and uh, oh, yeah. you'll really like that, and uh, go right for it. Well, this is like pudding. Uh, well, that's what it is. That's it's chocolate pudding. pudding. That's what chocolate pudding. And there's no chocolate in there. No chocolate. <laughs> that's... I'm surprised. We're three for three. I'm surprised. We're three for three. We Good got on one you. more. You convinced me. Thank you very much. We got one more to try now. We're three for three. So let's go for the big whammy. Hurry. We barely have the enough time. The big whammy. This is a exotic fruit from Asia. It's called a durian. Yeah, and we know all it, about that. You can get it quite regularly here, right here in uh, Vancouver yeah. and all the Asian markets. Don't open Pretty it. Much, Don't uh, open it. It's already open. I'm just going to... Open it like this right here. It stinks. And uh, it's its greatest taste and the greatest I know, smell in the world. It smells you great. But you gotta plug your nose to get to it. Well, plug your nose and try it. Oh, Go ahead. Elrico, get on. Elrico. No, look at this. Give her the rotting flesh fruit. You just oh. take it. Just take it. Take, take a piece and try it. Just. Go for really it. Good. Go for it. Hold your nose. Once you get past your want. olfactory nerve, it's very it's sweet. Shit. It tastes like the custard in a Boston cream donut. It's really amazing. People either love it or hate it. I don't know if it tastes quite like that, but it's get, not uh, bad. You can okay. get more information on all of this good stuff, folks, at www.rawlife.com of our own website. Right here uh, on a Friday morning, you're watching VT. They were all cheering when you tasted this and started saying, "Yeah, that's good." It was good. Wonderful.